So let's talk about intracellular signaling. We get into the cell to see what really happens. So we have our hormone and then we have our receptor. And the hormone will bind to a receptor to form what is known as a hormone receptor complex. And once a hormone binds to a receptor, you basically have activated receptor. So the activated receptor will initiate hormonal effects by one, changing the membrane permeability, two, activating intracellular enzyme, and three, activating genes. So we do have three ways in which activated receptor brings about um, or initiate hormonal effects inside the cell. So we'll get into the details of each one of these. So let's look at the changing the membrane permeability. So again, we have a hormone receptor complex, meaning that once a hormone binds to a receptor, you have an activated receptor. And this activated receptor will result in change in membrane permeability. And basically what you have is opening or closing of the channels for sodium, potassium, and calcium. So if we take a good example of changes in sodium permeability, so you have influx of sodium into the cell, and when you have influx of sodium into the cell, you have generation of action potential, and we know that once you have an action potential, you basically have cellular processes happening. For example, you have impulse conduction, or you might have muscle contraction. So this is one effect. So a very good example of the systems or the hormones that utilizes this system are epinephrine and not epinephrine, directly or indirectly, as we are going to see later. But neurotransmitters act through this way. So you know that you have a neurotransmitter that will change the postsynaptic membrane, basically changing its permeability to ions, and then you have influx of ions. By so doing, you have a biological response. So a second um, mechanism of action is through activating intracellular enzymes. And activating intracellular enzymes can be divided in two parts. Number one, a hormone receptor complex will activate a receptor. And this activated receptor will become an activated kinase. A kinase is an enzyme that phosphorylates. So once you have an activated kinase, this ki kinase will phosphorylate a molecule. When a molecule is phosphorylated, it is either activated or deactivated. So eventually it will bring about a cellular response or a biological response. A good example of hormone acting through this mechanism is insulin. So you have insulin binding to a receptor and the activated insulin receptors become an activated kinase. This kinase will phosphorylate a molecule within the cells and eventually you have effect of insulin. So you have high blood glucose as a stimuli which will cause uh, production of insulin and insulin will bind to insulin receptor on the surface of the cells and this receptor will become a kinase it will phosphorylate a molecule and at the end of the day you will have increased glucose uptake into the cell so the levels of glucose within the cells will be reduced so a second type of activating intracellular enzyme is when you have a hormone receptor complex activating an enzyme which is not a kinase so you can see the difference here and this enzyme will actually activate another molecule known as a second messenger because we know that a hormone is a chemical messenger so it is a first messenger so a first messenger activate an enzyme that activates a second messenger so a second messenger will bring about a biological or a cellular response as we will see later so this is very important because a lot of hormones act through this mechanism so you should pay attention to make sure you understand it very well so the third mechanism is activating genes as we said so you do have a hormone receptor complex getting into the genetic machinery to uh, activate transcription when you change when you have changes in transcription you have changes in proteins and we know that the proteins are the ones that bring about biological responses. So changes in protein, changes in biological responses due to that particular hormone. So a good example here, we have steroids and thyroid hormones as we are going to see the details later. 